Hello there. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to combine several morph dials in the DAS Genesis figure together into a single slider without the help of any tools such as Hexagon. So we're going to do this just with DAS and with nothing else, just in case you don't like Hexagon. I have another video on my channel that explains the process, how to do it with Hexagon. But just in case you're having trouble with that, this is the DAS Studio standalone version. Uh, there's also there's another video speaking of which there's another video on my channel which explains how to remove a morph that we're creating just like this so check that out there's a link in the description to that so in my case let me show you what i mean actually so in my case i go over and load my das genesis 8 basic female figure and it has nothing really dialed into this is just a basic female figure and to illustrate what i'd like to do i'm going to head over to the parameters tab and i'll focus on the full body morphs it, just because they're visually discernible you can do this with any kind of morph i'm just i'm just demonstrating this with the uh, full body morphs here so i'll give my character maybe a combination of three i'll say perhaps body size i'll make that a bit bigger and i might go and give it a bit of bodybuilder details here and i might also uh, give her a bit of a pair figure just so that we know this is now my special character you can use as many sliders as you want and as you well know having less products that dastry has to go through will speed up your loading times for the genesis figure so it is advisable that if you use like a combination of 20 morphs all the time you might as well turn them into a single slider and then get rid of the products that have created these for you individually that'll speed up your workflow there so this is my special character. This is this is imagine this is how my character to look like. So in order to save that out so that we can bring it back in as a morph, there's a few things we need to do. First of all, we need to open our figure and make sure we don't show the eyelashes. They just, you know, you just disable them with that little eye icon here. And that is because if I were to export this figure as it is, DAS Studio would combine the eyelashes with the geometry of the body into a single OBJ. By the time we bring that back, the geometry count is off and DAS Studio throws an error. That's why that happens. Along the same lines, we also need to go into the, with the figure selected here, into the parameters tab. And on the general tab, let's head over to the mesh resolution and we see this high resolution option here. That is essentially applying a subdivision surface modifier to the object, which then implies more polygons that are actually there, like on the fly, just for display and rendering purposes. We need to set that to base resolution once again, because when I export this as an OBJ, it would export this as a high resolution object, which has four times the amount of vertices than the base resolution has. It comes back as a high resolution thing. Das Studio says, sorry, can't deal with that geometry mismatch. So those are the two things. Switch off the eyelashes and turn the resolution to base level. Then we're ready to export this thing. Once again, with the figure selected, head over to File, Export. And here we're going to give it, a first of all, down here, make sure it says Wavefront OBJ. And then we're going to call it something that I want my morph to be called later. I mean, just something. My, perhaps, you know, test character. How about that? That's a good morph. This brings up the export options, which I could literally leave alone. Just make sure at the top here, the DAS Studio preset is selected. You can technically switch things like right surfaces off. We don't really need to export any maps. Um, I will do it. I'm just going to leave it on the defaults. Uh, it'll save a little bit of space on your hard drive if you don't export the textures on the character because we don't really need them. And just hit accept that's that so now we can go and bring the eyelashes back they'll give a you know eyelashes again uh, and the other thing i'm going to do is head over on the parameters tab to currently used and i'm only going to do that because i want to get rid of the morphs that i had individually dialed in i could just go ahead and load a fresh figure in again that's cool i could just delete this figure and then load in another one but it's just as easy to just set these things to zero so either by alt clicking alt left clicking on each slider that dials them to zero or you can go and use this little cock icon here and choose reset if you want that does the same thing and so now under currently used we should have one well, much less i'm not really sure why we have 
uh, eyelashes curl and that I mean they're set to well I guess suppose that they're set to 100% rather than to to nothing I suppose that's why they're showing up anyway with those steps under our belt and with our figure selected let's go create our morph head over to edit object morph loader pro advanced will work let's let's use pro because you know it's feature rich and all that if we select that we get this little import window and once again we get a menu here which should also be set to das studio because you know we've exported that as at das scale so we're going to import the same thing with das scales everything's going to be fine there's many things that you can set here we don't really worry about that all we need to do is pick this thing which says choose morph files so files notice plural you can bring in multiple morphs at the same time with morph loader pro we're not going to do that but in case you ever have to bring in 20 morphs at the same time you can do that at the same time if you wanted to choose the file that we've just exported which in my case is test character and that doesn't quite do anything yet this will now as soon as i hit accept will create the morph as a slider in a certain position that I'll show you how to change just in case I'm kind of you know looking ahead here if you do this a lot you may not want to change the position of your morph all the time you might say hey I know this is needs to go not into morphs morph loader or morph loader slash morphs or whatever I want this to be in a particular directory and you can set that while you're making this morph, just in case you've done it a few times and you're thinking I'm getting really weary and tired of this you could go and open this little disclosure triangle here and you see something called the property group and it says hey I'm going to create this morph with the name of um, whatever the file is called so test character I'm going to I'm going to create that under morphs morph loader if you already know that is not how I want to distribute my product you can right click on this and see this huge list here that kind of corresponds to the hierarchy that we have in the Genesis figure so we see actor and there's also display and pose controls and we can find these things here actor this uh, display and pose controls and so forth and anything after a slash has a subdirectory so if you said I wanted to put this into I don't know actor people for example you could select that right here and then that's where that morph is being created I'm gonna leave it in the default and show you how to do this manually afterwards both options are possible just thought I'd mention it you know it makes life a little bit easier I'll hit accept and that will create the morph so you, you should see loading morph test character or whatever your file name was created morph successfully that's what we want to read we don't want to see geometry mismatch couldn't create the morph sorry about that nothing works that's not what we want to see because that means Dastry was unsuccessful in doing that hit OK and I will go under my Genesis figure here I'm gonna go under morphs morph loader and that is in fact where I have my slider now so if I dial that up it'll now turn my Genesis figure back exactly to how I had envisioned her with the like all the individual sliders that I've brought up there but it takes me one slider it only takes one file for that to you to load not a hundred or whatever how many it took for you to create this shape to begin with pretty sweet huh so I could go ahead and now uninstall the products or disable the libraries that these products are in and Dastudio doesn't have to load them anymore it makes uh, working with Dastudio a bit faster so the thing is though um, I don't really want for this to be called Morph's Morph Loader test character I would like for this to be in a different category F for example um, actor people like here I'd like for this to be in here and just you know call it Jay's character or whatever so in order to do that we need to go to our morph first of all and use that little cog icon here click on that and select parameter settings and in here you find all kinds of exciting things so uh, first of all you can set the limits here if you wanted the limits to be minus 100 and plus 100 that's cool I mean currently it allows me to use negative values to the character and that just gives me the heebie-jeebies I don't really want to see that I would like for this to be a uh, kind of a 0 to 100 percent type slider I could also allow it to go into more than 100 percent if I wanted that so that you change that here under parameter settings um, so minimum let's just set that to 0 and the maximum is 100 
You can use limits. Limits are on by default. So now we cannot go be below zero or above 100, but you could set that on this on this little cog icon under parameter settings. You could make that happen. You could also not use percent. Zero to one is also possible. You could set a default value other than 100% or 0%. Default could be a different something, whatever you like. But most importantly, you can, you can change the position of where this morph appears. So mine is still called test character. The label is test character. I might just leave that and the path here morphs morph loader you can type anything else in here if it doesn't exist das will make it happen <laughs> if it does exist it'll just slot in there right away so in my case i know actor people exists so i'm going to go call this actor forward slash people and then it'll just be test character. So if I do that and hit accept, then notice that uh, the whole thing seems to collapse because morphs morph loader no longer exists. But if I head over to actor people, I now have my test character at the very top. There we go. Now, if I were to delete my Genesis character and bring in a fresh copy, this morph wouldn't be there, so I must save this so that next time I load up my Genesis figure, this morph dial can come back. And in order to do that, we need to know where in the hierarchy we've saved it. So I know where it is. It's under actor people. That's cool. So in order to lock that in, in my library, I'm going to go over to file, save as, support asset, morph asset, and that'll bring up my whole library here for the figure. So first of all, at the top here is the asset directory where I'd like to save this. If you want to create this more for distribution, you should save this in a completely empty directory otherwise, and then you zip up that directory and give that to people to install into their libraries. I'm going to just put it into my regular DAS 3D library here. Vendor name, that's you or your company. And product name, I'm going to leave that on product, but you can turn this into anything you want. If you have, you know, several products that you're releasing with several morphs, then, you know, that, that could be it. Or the name of the project that you'd like to save this as, that would spring to mind. I'm going to leave it on the defaults here. Now head over, open up the Genesis 8 female and find your morph, where your morph is. So in my case, it's under actor and it's under people and there's test character. So I need to tick that and only that, nothing else. Otherwise, anything that you tick, anything else that you'll tick will also be saved. So I only want to create the morph file for this thing. You can't compress the files. You don't have to do it. And all you need to do is hit accept. And that is that. That morph is now saved. Let's just, you know, quickly prove a point. Let me go delete my Genesis figure and head over to my smart content tab or to the regular content libraries, load in a fresh figure of Genesis 8 basic female and see if my theory was correct. Under parameters, people, there's my test character. Awesome. That is how you do that. If you want to remove this thing again, if you've made a mistake, you want to overwrite it or whatever, there is another video on my channel in which I'm showing you how to do just that so that in case you do not want that slider to be back in your regular Genesis 3 character, that there is a video on my channel. I'm going to link to that in the description below. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Uh, please share this video with friends, family and total strangers. Have fun with Das 3D or with Das Studio rather. And I will see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye bye.